In this demo, we'll be using the Kubernetes cluster that we created with Terraform and Ansible demo video and running on the Nutanix Cloud Platform. The window to the left shows the Rancher K3S Kubernetes cluster and the window on the right will show GitHub and the Argo CD control plane. You can use CLI with Argo CLI however for visualization we will use the web interface. Let's check our K3S cluster to make sure everything is healthy. We will run a cube control git nodes dash o y. As you can see our cluster is healthy. Now we'll check to see if our metal LB load balancer is installed by running cube control get pods dash n metal LB dash system. Here you can see the required pods running. If we focus on the right window, you'll see that I'm logged into GitHub. For demos, I use the GitHub service for my version control and source of truth. You may run Git locally in your environments. The same would apply however you would point your settings to your local Git repository. Now let's check out Argo CD by typing cube control git all dash in Argo CD. As you can see we have several pods, services, deployments, replica sets and stateful sets that support our Argo CD environment. Within GitHub, I have a repository named Argo CD. This is where our test application will be committed. I have already committed the voting application that we used in our previous demo. All we have to do now is set up an application within Argo CD. Select Applications, New App. Type in the application name, project name, and the sync policy. In our first demo, we will select Manual. Under Sync Options, select Auto Create Namespace. Input the source URL for your GitHub repository and the path to the application manifest. Select the cluster URL and namespace for the application and click Create. Now click into your application. You can see the application is both missing and out of sync from your repository. Because we chose manual for our sync settings, we will have to select sync to have Argo CD deploy the application. Let's do that now. Press sync and select synchronize. You can see how quickly this application deployed in sync. If we go back to our Kubernetes cluster, we can check to see if our deployment is successful and get the metal LB address to test the application. Run kube control get all and rock the vote. We can see our pods, services, deployments, and replica sets for the vote application. The IP address that was given by the metal LB pool is 192.168.50.231. Let's test the application. Argo CD monitored the GitHub repository and saw that the desired state did not match the current state. Argo CD's job is to get to a desired state without too much effort. It also tracks changes as well. We'll make a quick change to the application by adding a replica to the front end web service and commit the change, but this time we will change the sync policy to auto sync. Let's see what happens. As you can see Argo CD briefly showed out of sync then rapidly a new replica was deployed by simply committing the change within your GitHub repository. Argo CD also provides some visibility into the environment. Let's click on pods and you can see that both replicas are running on two different worker nodes. Click on network and you can see the external and internal traffic flows.
This was a very basic demo on GitOps. Again, as you go through these demos, think about the possibilities in your organization and the power that automation delivers. If you're looking for speed and agility, then you need to look at leveraging GitOps practices in your environments. Let's move on to DevOps.